Hello everybody and welcome to English Hangover where today we're going to talk about good. Too slow, dude. And evil. <laughs> handsome devil. So when you call someone a handsome devil, it means that they are extremely handsome. One, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> handsome devil is what basically means that someone is extremely handsome, usually a man. I would never say she is a handsome devil. No, I would never say that. So yeah, it is a man. They are so handsome that they make you want to sin. Another one we're going to talk about today is the word badass. It basically means that that person is kind of awesome. And why is that person awesome? Well, maybe that person doesn't really follow the rules or they look really cool. They have something cool about them that everybody wants to have. Maybe some Hollywood actors would have been badasses, or maybe some singers are badasses, or maybe you're a badass. Either way, it's a pretty awesome word to describe someone who's really cool and doesn't really follow the rules they make their own. Alright, so the next word we're going to talk about is a guilty pleasure. One, what is a guilty pleasure? Oh, uh, it's something that you're embarrassed about, but you really enjoy it. Mm. So you would normally indulge when you are alone? Yeah, it's something that you like to do, but you kind of don't want anyone else to know about That's it. That's exactly what I just said. But you kind of don't want anyone <laughs> else to know about it. What's your guilty pleasure? I'm gonna say Oops, I Did It Again by Britney Spears. Or Lucky. Probably say Taylor Swift, Shake It Off. It's really catchy. Hey Ken, can you pass me a pop? Here you go, buddy. Thank you. You're an angel. Think nothing of it. When someone does you a favor, um, you would say, oh, you're an angel. Thank you so much. It just means that what they did for you was very kind and generous. I would say that women say this more. I never hear any boys really say this. We should change that. All right, so my partner, JP, let me tell you a little bit of something about him. This guy, always late. We want to start in one hour and he comes in like two or three hours later. He's just one of those people that's always late. Hey, Kent. Oh. Sorry I'm late. What's up? Speak of the devil. You know what time it is? Uh, time to shoot the video? Yeah. Okay. Good. That's it. Here's an expression we use in English to talk about someone who just appeared. So for example, let's say we're talking about someone or even if I'm thinking about someone and that person who I'm thinking about or we're talking about walks into the room. In this situation, you can say, speak of the devil. All right, so the next word is one of my favorites. Uh, naughty, they're all my favorite words. And it means misbehave. So if I say like, don't be naughty, it's don't misbehave. But it also has a sexual connotation. It just means that you have a dirty mind for sex. So another word we use in English is a necessary evil. Imagine there's something you really don't want to do, but you have to do it, or you have to deal with it. It's necessary. It's important because if you do that, the result will be good later. So for example, let's say you have a job that you don't like. It's a necessary evil. You have to do it because it's going to give you more opportunities in the future. Or maybe there's somebody you have to spend time with and you don't really want to spend time with that person. But if you spend time with that person, the result will be better in the future. Alright guys, so hope you enjoyed that. Um, 
these were a few things that we used to talk about good and evil. Uh, which one was your favorite? Which one do you think you use all the time? Uh, I really like naughty and uh, badass. Badass is a great one. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So use these. You'll sound a lot cooler if you do when you're talking about good things and bad things. And if you like this video, please click subscribe below. Here and or here. There or there. Thank you.